WeBoost has a brand new mobile cellular booster out and it's being billed as the most powerful yet. Will it be a champion against the tried and true 4GX? Hi there, I'm Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center and a couple weeks ago WeBoost has launched a brand new mobile cellular booster that is kind of a uh, upgrade from their existing 4GX, which has been our tried and true champion of cellular boosters since 2015. So it has been quite a while since WeBoost has come out with a new cellular booster model uh, that actually gives you some increased benefits. Now what's different about these two, other than one being black and one being red, and this one being substantially heavier, uh, this is the WeBoost Drive Reach. And the two things that differentiate it from the 4GX is it has substantially more uplink power. Now it is rated at 29.5 decibel gain in uplink power. It has the same download capacity uh, gain as the WeBoost 4GX, which is 50, 50 decibels of gain, which is the max that any mobile cellular booster can have as per FCC regulation. So all mobile cellular boosters that can support multiple devices have that same 50 decibel gain max. But this is the most powerful powerful in uplink power on the market at present time and it has 4.7 more decibel gain than the 4GX. Now what does that mean in actuality? Well it's a logarithmic gain so it's more than double the capacity. The increased upload link of this booster can theoretically allow this booster to reach a tower twice the distance of what the 4GX should be able to reach. So how that might play out is that you're going to be able to reach more cellular towers when you are out in the boonies and your uplink capacity or the uplink speeds that you can receive when using a booster should be substantially greater with the new reach. Now the other difference with the reach is that it is also officially certified for Sprint's Band 25. It is Reboost's first booster that officially fully supports upload and download capacity on Band 25, which is a difficult band to uh, accommodate given its closeness to Band 2. Now, of course, with Sprint, you also have Band 26 and Band 41, which is not supported by any booster on the market. So it is a substantial gain for Sprint, but it is not fully Sprint supported. No booster is on the market. Now, it is $20 more than the 4GX. The 4GX uh, starts retailing at $479.99. The reach retail price is $499.99. But there are also different antenna kits. Just like with the 4GX, which now has four different antenna kits, the reach is starting out with two different antenna kits. The first is just their vehicle uh, kit which comes with the standard 4 inch magnetically mounted stubby antenna. This is designed to go on the top of a truck or a car but for RV or boat use it works as well but you do need to provide a metal ground plane underneath it because that is essential for reflecting signal up into the antenna. So that needs to be at least 8 inches by 8 inches. And uh, that is the default kit that comes for uh, 4, 7, 499 is what comes with this antenna. Now the other option that is at, available first at release is their fleet kit, for which is retailed for $524, and it comes with the NMO mount. Now that stands for New Motorola, and this is designed for fleets, just like the, the name implies. For, so for police cars, ambulances, basically a department that is managing multiple vehicles. So basically you install this through the vehicle's roof, and then you just can screw on the NMO antenna on top. Uh, this, so this is our first look at this style of antenna, so we will be doing some head-to-head -head testing with the vehicle antenna. WeBoost does tell us that in the future, they have not given us a timeline yet, they will also be releasing kits with the ever-popular and our favorite antenna, the OTR, and also the RV kit should be coming out as well with that antenna. Uh, we will be testing with our OTR. This is our top performing antenna with the 4GX and we anticipate that it'll also be a top performer with the Reach. Uh, WeBoost does certify all of their antennas to be able to be swapped out with all of their boosters, so that's a great option. The interior antenna is the slim antenna, which is a small little panel antenna. And basically any device that is within a few feet of this antenna should receive the amplified boost of the amplifier. So any cellular device. And um, 
this one should give you a couple at least we typically like to keep our devices within a couple feet sometimes if you're in a decent signal area you can get further away than that but don't anticipate that you're going to get like an rv wide size uh, amplified boost area um, so those antenna kits should be coming out in the future uh, we will be keeping an eye on those kits to come out as well um, it is an exciting month in boosters uh, because not only does WeBoost have a new entry, Solid RF is also coming out uh, next week uh, on June 15th with the RV Pro, which is this amplifier's designed to be mounted on the roof and it can support two interior antennas so you can have two boosted areas inside your RV. Be on the lookout for our upcoming video on this when it debuts on the 15th. We'll have more information to share with you about that. Uh, Selfie is also has a new firmware update to their digital booster so we'll be putting it back in testing head-to-head -head with the WeBoost against the 4GX and the Solid RF and our members will be getting access to all of our field testing data and our first impressions of all of these booster models and what the differences are and the form factors and what makes sense for what applications. Now WeBoost has given us a 10% discount for any of our viewers and readers to use. You can find that discount code at the bottom of our product overview of the reach which you can find at mobileinternetinfo.com slash reach and uh, if you use that discount code, you can save 10% when you order directly from WeBoost. Um, as always, our videos are supported by our members and all of our testing is supported by them as well. We will be spending uh, the next few weeks testing these head to head to get some initial impressions out for them. And we will be including those in those review center entries. We also have access to our field testing data and then we will be having the top performers in extensive head to head testing probably for years to come just as we have with our tried and true 4g x booster now just a quick reminder boosters are not the ideal signal enhancing option for everybody there is a core lte technology called mimo multiple in multiple out and for devices with dual antenna ports we generally find using a mimo antenna of some sort will give you better results than a booster in the majority of applications we do have a video coming out really soon that'll be released explaining more about the differences between boosters and MIMO antennas and showing you some real life applications with it. So stay tuned for that and do make sure you do your research to make sure that a booster is right before you before you go and invest a huge sum of money in them. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.